Oh, welcome, beautiful people. We are here for our gentle yoga practice. This is the evening class, so it's a little bit more gentle than the um, morning practice, which is also gentle, but like, you know, we like stand up and do more stuff in that gentle class. Um, and this evening, we will be focusing on mantra. And so mantra is a phrase that you set for yourself. And you could use a mantra just for like a one hour period in a class, or you could have a mantra that like encapsulates a period of time in your life. So the mantra that we are gonna work with today is actually one that I have been using. Um, and I, I don't know what it is about this specific mantra, but I found it to be really helpful to be used um, when the monkey mind kicks in, you know, when, you're trying to do something and you're getting like distracted and you can't focus on what it is. This has been my go-to. Um, so my thought was that if it serves me, it will most likely serve other people out there as well. And so I thought I'd weave that into our class today. Um, and um, it, it is a sung mantra. And so you are welcome to just listen, right? You're also welcome to try it out a little bit, see what it feels like. For you to you know sing out loud especially if you're at home and there's like nobody around you or maybe you're practicing this with a, a partner someone that you trust and care for deeply um then i would encourage you to try it out there's something about um just pushing past that comfort zone a little bit right like that's a hundred percent what i'm doing today this is my living practice today is pushing myself out of my comfort zone to do some sung mantra chanting in this class, which like mark the record books. Today is the first day I'm ever doing this and I'm gonna, gonna own it, I'm gonna do it. And then we'll have more singing in future classes. Oh, so it's always beginning in a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like for you. And, you know, you may have come to the mat a thousand times before, but take the time to really check in see what's going to work for you. My, one of my knees has been feeling a little tender, so I'm, I'm needing something a little bit different. So really check in with yourself. Make the most of this practice by committing to listening to this body. And once you've found something that you feel comfortable in, something you can sustain for an extended period of time as we begin our practice, seated, begin to check the alignment of your spine. It's head over heart, heart over center here. Keeping it fully present and embodied in this moment by keeping alignment in the spine. And that next inhale, lift that crown just a little bit taller, just to be sure. And on that next exhale, soften the shoulders down the back body. Can choose palms down, that more closed off gesture, conserving of energy. Or you can go palms up, cool you down a little bit, open to receiving the divine wisdoms of the universe. So choose, choose your mojo, which one are you gonna do tonight? And then from here, allowing the eyes to soften or close beginning to dull the sensory experience outside of you and just breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Feeling the breath come into the body on the inhale. Feeling the breath leave the body on the exhale. Getting the journey inward. Beginning to deepen that inhale. And then elongate that exhale until it's twice as long as the inhale. Triggering your body, letting it know that you're in a safe space here. In this life, we can be both triggered in a positive or a negative way. Let's, let's be triggered in a positive way here. Let's cultivate that good juju, that good energy. 
tapping into the part of the brain that's going to help you soften and be more receptive in this practice. And beginning this mantra, this chant, I am that I am. You're welcome to listen. You're welcome to join in at any point. And just let the words carry you. If you become distracted, use the breath to come back to the practice. Big breath in. I am that I am. 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 created after sound. What comes up for you in this space? What comes up for you in a sung mantra chant? Did you feel the pull to join? Or did you resist? Neither being right or wrong, both worthy of your observation and your awareness. Taking a few more breaths here. I make space for all that I am. All of me is welcome here. When you're ready, let the eyelids flutter open, returning back to the space and each other. And use an inhale to drop the chin to chest and an exhale to roll the ear towards the shoulder. Nice, gentle stretch in the neck here. Inhale, chin comes back to chest. 
Exhale, opposite ear towards opposite shoulder. And making a little flow here, inhale to center. Exhale to the side. Side to side here, no rush. Just fully present in this moment. See that song stay in the mind, carry you through your practice. I am that I am. One more time on each side here. And then inhale, bring that chin back to center and then bring the head all the way upright. Inhale, bring the hands up to shoulders and just begin to make some circles with the arms here. Mm, taking big, deep, soul nourishing breaths here. I make space for all that I am. All of me is welcome here. That next inhale reverse going in the opposite direction with the arms here, with the shoulders. Mm. Few more circles. And then inhale, drop the hands down to the side and bring your peace fingers out and just ground them on either side of you here. Taking a few deep breaths, feeling the fingertips just connecting to the energy of Mother Earth beneath you. As if you are pulling up that grounding energy through the tips of fingers on one hand, bringing it up into your body, and then having it come out the other hand with the other fingers on the other side. No option to stay here, just really grounding into this mantra, to this, these intentions you've set in this space. Or inhale to bring the hands to heart center, interlace the fingers. Exhale, press the palms out and away from the body. Inhale to lift the hands up towards the sky, palms facing the ceiling, and then exhale, break free, bending at the elbows, 90 degree angles coming into cactus arms. Inhale, palms to center, interlacing the fingers. Exhale, to extend those palms away from the body. Inhale, to lift the hands up to the sky. And exhale, to break free. Continuing with this flow for a few more breath cycles. Mm, staying with it, staying present. Letting the breath guide you here. One more round. Beautiful. The next time you break through, come right into a gentle twist. Turning to look out past that back shoulder. Inhaling back through to center. Exhale to the other side. So we're making a little flow here. Inhale to return to center. Exhale, break free to come to the side. Each breath cycle here, an opportunity to realign, redirect. Any energy that might be floating away from you, intrusive thoughts. Just use that exhale to release them. Mm. Inhale, the next time you come to center, bring one palm to the earth. Lift the other arm straight up overhead. And then exhale, come all the way out and over to the side. Pull that top shoulder back, open up the heart space, rotate that heart up towards the ceiling. Pause and hold here for four breaths. 
you return back to that mantra. I am that I am. 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 Inhale all the way back through to center. And then lifting that other arm straight up towards the ceiling and using an exhale to come out and over. Rotate that top shoulder back, opening up the heart space towards the ceiling and breathing. Option to return to your mantra. I am that I am, I am that I am. I am that I am, I am that I am. A more breath cycle here in through the nose out through the nose and then an inhale brings you all the way back through to center if you're using any props beneath you, you can scooch those on out of the way and come forward onto hands and knees knees under hips hands under shoulders or fists under shoulders whatever's more comfortable for you tuck that belly button up and in to get the nice flat back here and then inhale, drop the belly, tilt the pelvis, open the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine, tuck that belly button up and in, chin to chest. Inhale to open. Exhale to round. Again, inhale to open. Exhale to round. One more time here, one more breath cycle. Inhale to return to a nice flat back here. Walk your hands towards the front edge of your mat. You might need to wiggle the knees back just a little. Big deep breath in here. And then exhale, we can melt the forehead down towards the earth or a block to lift the earth to you. Yogi's choice here, whichever is going to feel better for you. Breathing deep here for four breaths. Breathing deep, feeling that inhale come in through the nose, exhaling back out through the nose. Inhale, begin to slide the hands back under the shoulders, pressing back up to that tabletop position here. And then inhale, open up the right hand towards the sky, coming into a twist. Exhale, twist and turn, bring that right arm under the left arm. And then inhale, back up to the sky. few more times here. One more time. And then on the exhale, bring that right shoulder all the way down to the earth. Hips lift up to the sky over the knees. That left hand can stay where it is. It can come to the front of the mat, or you can even lift it straight up overhead depending on the heat level you want to bring to your practice. Eyes can soften or close here. And surrendering into the weight of the earth beneath you. And taking two more full deep breaths in this place.
Inhale, press into that hand, returning back to that tabletop position. And then inhale, left hand lifts towards the sky. Exhale, bring the left arm under the right, take a twist. And then inhale, unravel, unwind, to twist in the opposite direction. One more big breath in to lift up. And exhale this time, come all the way down to the earth to thread the needle. Choosing what you want to do with the right hand here. Keep it where it is. Extend it towards the front edge of the mat or lift that arm up towards the ceiling. Whatever you choose, fully commit to it. I make space for all that I am. All of me is welcome here. One more big deep breath into the nose. And exhale ever so slowly, bring that right hand back to the earth. Pressing back up towards that tabletop posture. Toes together. Knees together or knees with edge of the mat, sink the hips back and down and coming into a child's pose. Fully, fully surrendering here. Option to hum to yourself, to bring the forehead to a block. Whatever is going to enhance this posture and allow you to receive the most benefits from it. That's the sweet spot and the magic that we're striving for here. Softening for four deep breaths. Inhale to slowly roll up to that seated position here. And then I want you to turn to face the long edge of your mat. You may need to um, shift the whatever screen you're watching is on device. That's fine. Make whatever adjustments you need. So top of the feet behind you flat on the floor, okay? Hands can come up to the hips to offer you a little more stability. Then we're gonna inhale, extend the left leg straight out to the side. And then that foot is flat on the earth. So I'm pressing into the knife edge of that foot. That means this outer edge here, all right? Then inhale, open up the arm side to side. And we're gonna drop the left hand to the left leg and lift that other arm up and overhead. We're going to pause here for a few breaths. Breathing deep in this gate pose. Now, if this is more than you have to offer in this moment, bring that lifted arm just to the hip. It's the same stretch, right? Feel the opening in the leg here. This opening in the side body. Mm, gaze straight ahead. And then inhale brings you back to that sort of middle space here. Arms extended out at shoulder height. And then exhale, we're gonna bring the right hand to the earth. The left hand is lifted up towards the sky or on the hip. Ooh, or a third option, bonus option, extend that arm straight out over the ear. Boom, lots of choices. Breathing deep. Two more breaths here. Inhale. 
Inhale, imagine you're grab a giant hook overhead to help you pull all the way back up to center. And then inhale, bring the hands to heart center. Left leg comes back to meet the right. And pausing here by bringing the hands up to the forehead for candle pose. Sitting up nice and tall on the knees, pausing here for three breaths. You can allow the eyes to soften or close. I make space for all that I am. All of me is welcome here. Inhale, allow the eyes to flutter open, hands come back to heart center or the hips, and we'll come to gate pose on the other side. So that right leg extending out into the side, pushing into that knife edge of that foot. So toes straight ahead, parallel to that short end of the mat. That knee is right under the hip bone too, right? So nice straight line of energy, just like when we're standing in mountain, or seated at the beginning of practice, right? There's that nice open line of energy extending tall through the crown of the head. Shoulders soften down the back body. Arms extend out on either side on an inhale. Then when you're ready, boom. Right hand to right leg, left arm to the sky or the hips. Breathing deep here. Quieting all distractions and breathing. Letting those breaths in through the nose and out through the nose ground you. Gaze straight ahead or lift it up towards the ceiling. One more big breath in. Imagine like you're grabbing a hook that's bringing you back up to center. And then exhale, continuing that journey down to the earth, left palm to the earth, right hand lifted to the sky, or bending that elbow, hand to hip. Or that's right, there's a third option. Boom, extending that arm out and over the ear. If you're coming into this, it's a nice line of energy from the foot all the way up to the fingertips. Breathing deep. Mm. One more breath cycle, keeping those shoulders softened, muscles of the face softened. And then use that inhale. You can imagine you're grabbing that hug again to pull you back, back to center, then bring knees together, legs together. And then you're actually going to fold up the corner edges of the mat. This is to give you some stability in your legs. So if you have um, tender knees, this isn't ideal for you. This is um, a hip opener. Um, I would do like cobbler's pose seated with the feet together. Um, but if the knee stuff is in your, your wheelhouse, I'm actually going to turn around just so you can see my back end, my posterior. So what I'm going to do is bring those knees closer. And then knees out side to side here, feet flat behind, and then just beginning to lower my hips back and down. Okay, so the wider apart the knees are, the farther back you go, the deeper the stretch is. The farther down you go, the deeper the stretch is, right? So there's a lot of factors here to take into consideration. So make sure that however you're coming into this pose, frog pose, you're breathing, right? The breath is the most important thing. If you're not breathing, it's not yoga anymore. I don't know what it is then, probably some sort of fitness class. <laughs> We're gonna hold here for a few more seconds. Breathe into this posture. Breathe into the openness that's created in the hips. Gaze flat on the earth in front of you. Few more breaths here. You got this. 
you're a rock star. And then inhale, slowly begin to make your way back up. Bring those knees in closer together, however you need to do that. Extend the mat right back out. And once again, melting down into child's pose. Oh, softening and surrendering. Four deep breaths here. Perhaps returning to that mantra, I am that I am. Inhale, bring the hands under the shoulders and gently press your way back up to a seated position. Sitting up tall, lifting through the crown while softening the shoulders. Abdomen active and engaged here. Head over heart, heart over center. Inhale, lift the hands in front of you at shoulder height. Exhale, pivot the palms face out. Swim the hands back and behind, and then interlace the fingers or grab onto a strap that's laid down on the ground right behind you. Whichever you're coming into, pull the hands back and down, open the heart space. Take a big deep breath in through the nose and exhale, begin to slowly melt the torso over the thighs. You could always bring the knees farther apart if you need more room for your stomach. And then exhale, bring that forehead all the way to the earth or a block or coming onto the top of the head here. Using an inhale to lift those hands up, back and behind and pausing here for three breaths. As you exhale, asking yourself, is there anything you can soften here? Inhale, extend down tall through the crown, and then begin to slowly, with the abdomen engaged, lift yourself back up to a seated position. Release the hands once you're all the way upright. Allow them to float to the thighs and breathe in through the nose, feeling the cold air or cool air enter your body. Exhale as warm air leaves the body through the nose. Coming on to the sides of the hips here, extend your feet in front of you and just bring the soles of the feet to touch here and just give the feet a little massage. Just a little love on them tender toes and footsies that carry you around all day, every day. Massaging the tops of your feet a tender spot. If you find those, just give them a little extra love. Mm. Working your way down the foot. Mm. Beautiful. All right. Once those feet are loved up, taken care of, uh, it's in the right leg straight out in front of you. I'm actually going to pause to grab my pillow here as a prop. So if you'd like to, you could be sitting on the very edge of either um, a pillow or a folded blanket, which just sort of tilts the pelvis slightly forward to help keep you lifted, lengthened, and tall through the spine. So right leg extended out in front of you. Foot is nice and active, almost as if it's pressed up against the wall. Lifting tall through the crown of the head with an exhale to soften the shoulders. Inhale to bring the arms up overhead. Pivoting the torso to be facing that foot. And then exhale, begin to forward fold, hinging from the hip while keeping a nice flat back. 
So as soon as the shoulders start to round, then take it on back. Every exhale here is an exploration to see if you can go even just like, like an inch farther, half inch, a sixteenth of an inch. It is all worth celebrating. Taking another big deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, allow yourself to round the shoulders. Now coming forward, moving towards those toes, bending the knee if you need to, to make your way all the way to the toes. Remembering there's no, no right or wrong way to yoga, right? There's just what your body needs in this moment and owning it. Not even owning it, celebrating it. Mm. Inhale to begin to slowly roll up towards that seated position. And then lift that left leg so that knee is bent, that left foot is flat on the earth. Big breath in as you lift through the crown, hug the right arm around the knee. Now, if you're coming into this this twist and it feels like um, twitchy or twingy or just like ugh, then unwrap that arm, just bring the hand, uh, the hand to the knee, okay? Wrapping the arm deepens that stretch. And then you're gonna float that other hand right back in behind the sits ones, press into it to help you lift and lengthen. And then on an exhale, twist and turn, looking out past that back shoulder. Breathing deep here. Mm. Make sure that right foot stays nice and active still. I'm staying here for one more breath cycle. Inhale brings you all the way back through to center. Let's come to the other side. So left leg. I'm sending it straight out in front of you. Pressing that sole of the right foot into the left inner thigh. Sitting up nice and tall here. Head over heart, heart over center. Inhale to lift those arms all the way up overhead. And exhale to hinge forward at the hips, keeping that nice flat back. Breathing deep here. Gaze softly in front of you, straight ahead. Hmm. Breathing deep. A big deep breath in through the nose and exhale. Allow yourself to round forward, reaching those toes or bending the knees if you need to. Mm. Always gently rock side to side. Just bringing that mode of inquiry. What's going to feel? nourishing what's going to make my heart sing in this moment inhale to begin to slowly roll back up towards that seated position bend that left or the right knee that foot is flat on the earth and then hugging the left arm around that knee or just having the hand on the knee Yogi's choice. And then floating that other hand back and behind, pressing into the earth with the sole or the palm of the right hand. And then on an exhale, twisting to turn to look out past that back shoulder. Breathing deep here. Inhale to unravel, unwind, coming back to center. You can extend both legs out now. 
any parts that you might have been using, you can scooch on out of the way. And then slowly lower yourself all the way down to the earth. Bend those knees, bringing the feet flat onto the earth. Palms face down either side of the body in a V shape. Make sure you can just touch the heels with the middle finger here. And then inhale, press into the feet, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Exhale to lower them down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. One more time, inhale to lift and hold here. Um, you can come into a full bridge pose here. You could roll one shoulder under the back body and then another and interlace the fingers. You can place a block under the sit bones here to make this a restorative posture where you could stay as you are for three more breaths. Whatever you choose, breathe. Let the breath guide you and sustain you here. One more big breath in through the nose and exhale, slowly lower those hips down towards the earth. Walk the feet to be the width edge of the mat and then windshield wipe with the legs side to side. On an inhale, and kick those feet up and hug the knees in towards the chest, however close they want to go, and just gently rock side to side. Breathing deep here. And then bringing the hands to the knees, just make some knee circles in one direction to start. And nice and slow. Remembering there's no rush here. And then reverse going in the opposite direction. All right, you can continue here rocking the knees or circling the knees, or you can kick the feet up toward the ceiling, grab the outer edges of the feet or grab onto the shins and come into happy baby. Gently rocking side to side, opening up those hips, kicking legs out, or whatever it is that your baby does. You do you. Mm -hmm. Then when you're ready, gently stretch those legs out, arms up overhead. And just take a full body stretch from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. And exhale to soften. Inhale to take another big stretch. And exhale to soften. You can walk your feet towards the bottom right corner of the mat. Right hand grabs the left wrist and gently tugs the torso towards the top right corner of the mat. Coming into a full body side stretch. Mm 
Breathing deep here, using your exhales to soften any muscles of the body that might be tense. Inhale, they come back through to center. And then journeying on over to the other side. Feet at the bottom left-hand corner of the mat. If you want, you can cross that right leg over the left to deepen the stretch a little more. Left hand grabs the right wrist and gently tilts towards the top corner of the mat. And then just softening, surrendering, welcoming whatever is coming towards you in this life. Breathing. Inhale to soften, come all the way back through to center here and preparing for Shavasana if there's any final stretches you'd like to take. Any last wiggles, any layers you'd like to put on, blankets underneath you or on top of you. Whatever is going to feel best to you here and now. Coming into a, I'm personally coming into a little mudra over my pelvis. It almost looks like it's sort of like a little diamond shape. Fingertips touching, thumbs touching. The thumbs are up towards my belly button. The fingertips pointing down. And returning once again to this mantra. Big breath in through the nose. I am that I am. a big deep breath into the nose and out through the nose. Knowing you can stay here for as long as you need to. If you're feeling the call for movement, <clears throat> beginning to wiggle the fingers and toes, Taking any stretches. Oh. Oh. 
Slowly making your way to roll onto one side in the fetal position, using that lower arm as a pillow for the head. Pausing for a breath cycle into the nose. And out through the nose. With all the love you can muster, all the grace, all the patience, gently making your way towards a comfortable seated position. Hmm. Sitting up nice and tall and closing our practice with three arms. A big deep breath in. My wish for you on this day and every day that follows peace of body, peace of heart, and peace of mind. Namaste. Mm, I hope you enjoy this practice. I hope you may appreciate my singing. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.